Alrighty. Good day, everyone. Um, quick video. We're, yeah, we're about to yard some cattle. <laughs> um, so we've got the brand new 5400 cattle heat stress tracker. It's really quite handy. We're just going to quickly set it up. We're not going to go into detail. Um, hopefully, we'll do another video on that later. It's just they have arrived in Australia. We've got them here. We're actually, I don't know, I'll just pick the whole thing up. You can see we've got cattle in in the race ready to be yarded so we want to get this up get this collecting data and check that it's all working um, i've grabbed an ultrapod or the tactical tripod i'll show you why i've grabbed that one in a second um, really really handy for farmers guys if you are looking at uh, either the 5400 cattle heat stress or the 5500 ag we recommend picking up one of these really nice little tripods because they come with a strap you can attach them to yards and panels or fence posts or trees they're just really really handy all right so this is what you get i'm not going to do a full proper unboxing video we're just gonna get into it get it set up comes with a vein mount link and a compass don't have time to calibrate the compass this is all happening comes with a battery that's just manuals yep and oh yep threw it in the holder so we'll pop the holder off unlock Only use lithium ion batteries, guys um, and girls. Just don't use ordinary alkaline batteries, they leak. These are much better and they're a lot more like, contained, but it was a problem with the old 50, uh, sorry, 4500s and 4000 series. It's been redesigned, but still the warnings remain. Do not use alkaline batteries, they do leak gas. So, yep, just click that in there. And there we go, we're live. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go to memory options and turn it on to a store rate. Okay, 10 minutes the minimum. There you go. And display. Auto shut down. Throw that up to 60 minutes. System. Units. Global, we want metric because we're in Australia. Oops, go. Make sure everything oh, crosswind will leave off. This is, we're not going to have time to calibrate the compass. Community's definitely got to be on. Wind chill should be on. Heat index on. THI on. Um, G point, wet bulb, pressure. Attitude, density, attitude, delta T, critical in these guys. This is what makes these new 5000 series agricultural units so good. Is you can use them for spraying, you can use them for cattle work, you can even use them in chicken sheds. They're just really, really good. Alrighty. Don't have time to do the compass. We're surrounded by metal. Don't try and calibrate your compass in cattle yards. It's just going, just going to end badly. All right. Directions. Heat index, yeah, nice and cool day, middle of summer, but humidity's up high, and we're expecting the amount of rain we had yesterday, the humidity to go through the roof, so heat stress tracker, keep an eye on the cattle. Um, if we need to throw them in extra water halfway through the day of drafting, we'll do that based on what the kestrel tells us to. We can just connect up with our phones, have a quick look, quickly check it, and move on. All right, I think, no, we don't have time to set up pens, we'll just... Use the HLI index. All right, setting it up. And 
that's it, ready to go. I like taking this little off um, the cover just in case something does happen. Um, these will survive a fall from the top of these yards down, but it's just a lot nicer if you don't lose that little cap. Alrighty, I'll put this away. This is it running. Um, and as we can see here, going up. So, but surely it'll warm up today. We're middle of summer. We're in South Australia. It's supposed to be the driest state, the driest continent in the world. But you know what? We had a once in ten year weather event. So <laughs> apparently, no one actually listened. So that's it, ready to go. I'm not going to leave it there. What I'm going to do is we're going to go to a nice, convenient location. I'll just adjust this camera. So, simple thing, close down these ultrapods, line it up, tighten it off, make sure everything's nice and tight, and this is the key. We can now get the strap, little tab. The rubber feet actually act as a stop, so you really want to pull down to that one action and then actually bite into smooth steel and things like timber and that it won't matter. Just level that up nicely. Cheers the thongs guys, it's pretty early morning, I'll put the boots on in a second. Make sure it's nice and level, click it in properly, and we'll turn Bluetooth on, that's the next thing. Grab our phones, and connect to the Kestrel app. Not sure if you can see this, it might be a bit dull, but it just comes up. I'm going to submit the name because we don't really care what it's called. We'll skip the registration because time's of the essence. And there we have it, it is connected. One catch is there is a firmware update coming eventually, but currently, unlike the drops, the Bluetooth does time out after 60 minutes when the screen dies. So, we're looking forward to the update. Um, as soon as that comes in, we'll let everybody know and look. If you buy Kestrel now, the updates will work. One of the questions we get is, you know, if I buy this one, is it going to be superseded by a new version? We have live firmware updates. Don't muck around. Get a model with Link. And it doesn't matter what we do, you're always going to have the latest technology in your Kestrel with press of button, connect it up, it downloads, it's all free. It will work really well. We're really, really impressed by these 5000 series. And look, the new agricultural units, these things are great. So this one, we can use it here in the yards today. We can keep an eye on our cattle's stress levels. And in a couple of months, we'll run a spray, we're running helicopters. We can leave this out, the same location. We actually <laughs> land the helicopters just over there and we spray the entire farm. So we can keep an eye on delta T, wind direction, all those things. We're in a vineyard area, so we can main, make sure that we're not impacting on anyone else when we're spraying our paddocks. And it's just, Good management.